good morning from Marion, Virginia in the Travel Inn. Um, we just slept in, which is really nice. I mean, I woke up in the middle of the night like I usually do, but hey man, regular bed. I feel like I slept really well otherwise, which is awesome. Drinking our collagen drinks because desperate for anything <laughs> to work and we I am assessing the hole that is in the triplex tent I will show you so here is the uh, gigantic rib in the tent it's like you know I would say like near my hand size like it just ripped just like this right right by the seam where the door is, but didn't rip through here, which is good. It's just this rectangle part, and I was able to get the duct tape off, and there's not really any residue from that, which is nice. I'm trying to get, like, every everything squared off in this <laughs> situation. Like, if this works, if it doesn't work, I know I'm just like speaking mumbo jumbo right now, but this is the repair tape, the DCF repair tape that comes with the tent, but I feel like the rip that we have is bigger than what is provided here because these are pretty thin strips and we have like a whole rectangle and then some because some of the threading like came loose a little bit past the rip. So I texted Coach, who opened up Marion Outfitters here in Marion, and I have not met him yet, have not gone to the store yet. Today is Sunday. It's Easter Sunday, so happy Easter, everybody. But he's been so helpful so far. Like, he said he has extra DCF tape, and he had it at home, so we're going to go there tomorrow when the store's opened up. We also want to see, you know, the outfitter and visit the outfitter, see what they have, because it's new. And he said he has extra tape, which is amazing. Um, and also, my family is visiting um, on Tuesday, so my mom is coming from Florida, and my second tent, or our second tent, <laughs> is in Florida. Um, and since she's flying, so it's complicated. She's flying up to New York and then driving down to Virginia with my brother because my brother and my sister-in-law and their kids, they're the ones who decided to visit and then my mom also wanted to come. So she's going to fly up and drive down with them. Anyways, she's bringing us our second tent, which is um, the Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL3 tent that my aunt bought us for our wedding. Thank you so much, Ninang. Um, so we have that option. If like we can't get the triplex fixed, at least we have another tent that we can just swap out because we're not camping. So we like in these next three days or so. Um, <coughs> yeah, so we don't have to worry about the tent right now, which is, I mean, we're worrying about the tent being broken, but we're not actually like camping. So yeah, there's all that. And just also tending to the general aches and pains and seeing how we're gonna go from here in terms of hiking and whatnot. So, yeah. Sup? <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's showing me this cool rock that he found. I just thought it was really cool. I mean, like, very cool. the, uh, you can see like all the little like crystals up in here. It'll be hard to see on the video, but yeah, it's like when you like when oh, you like yeah, turn you it, you can kind of see it sparkle. Yeah, they're very tiny crystals, but it actually looks like you know it's sort of like quartzy hexagonal sort of crystal crystal kind of thing. And I was reading online that that's like when the magma like cools like very slowly, like it's like has a tendency to form like crystals. But then also, like, you can see, like, the same thing. It's, like, these lines in this, like, what looks like probably sedimentary rock. Like, it's just 
line here, line here, and it's the same on the back. You know, yeah. so it's just this sort of cool, that you is know. Very cool. Yeah. I dig it. Yeah. What do they call this? Like a pegmatite or something? I don't know. <laughs> something like that? I don't know. I gotta look it up. You find that amazing? <laughs> Glow up, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look how tiny they are once Sandra peels them. Oh my god, these things are like I'm dropping stuff off. I mean, like, come on. Come on, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so just... cute. You pop them in. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh, this one's so tiny. I'm gonna see how small this one is when it's peeled. <laughs> it's just so tiny. Like one of these wedges, like, like what is that? <laughs> like that is just, you know, it's yeah. just so tiny. It's 2.45 p.m. and we are finally seeing the sunlight for the first time today. Literally just been lying down in bed the entire time. And I had just been lying down on the floor with his feet up. <laughs> yeah. We haven't eaten. Well, that's a lie. We had some of the stuff that we bought at Walmart yesterday, but yeah, we like haven't had like a, essentials. yeah, we haven't had a proper meal though. <laughs> so we're about to go to um, Pizza Hut. <laughs> the place where they serve proper meals. Proper <laughs> meals, yes. <laughs> the footwear of champions right here. I am ready. I don't think you guys know how excited I am. Um, especially about these. I used to eat these all the time as a child. Mm. And this is a really nice pizza hut. Mm -hmm. But for real. So, this is the first time Andrew has had a personal pan pizza from Pizza Hut. Mm. Which is wild to me because as a kid, Every time we wrote a book report, we would get a slip for a free personal pan pizza at Pizza Hut. And that's why I ate at Pizza Hut a lot. I know being from New York, pizza, you know, New York pizza, but I ate at Pizza Hut a lot because I got those slips a lot. Has anybody else ever gotten that from school? Because I remember this came up a couple of times like in my lifetime and I knew people who never got had that and I feel like that was such a big thing for me in my childhood. So please let me know if you've ever heard of book report equals personal pan pizza at Pizza Hut. Happy Easter, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this looks oddly like a Furby, but it's a fur real fuzz a lot. So this, this might as well be a Furby. Oh my God, a squishy dumpling. So cute. We just came out of Walgreens and what's so bizarre to me is that Walgreens sells wine. I mean in New York you don't really see that, right Andrew? No, we, we don't see that at all. Yeah, we don't see that at all. And not only is there wine, but it was on sale. And I was like, sale? Wine? Walgreens? What? Remember, remember the one they used to have five buck chuck? At Trader Joe's? Two buck, man. Two buck. Oh, it was, oh it's two buck. Never mind. Okay. Two buck chuck. Never mind. <laughs> it was actually three dollars, but we're not going to talk about that. I'm literally, like, is it busy enough? Like, I'm confused. <laughs> so, your girl is really craving some milkshake, so Sonic it is. Yeah. It's called the Sonic Blast. We were thinking, we, can't, we couldn't remember the name. said that these are better than the flurries. Yeah. True. True. Don't tell McDonald's. Also, the Oreo one is always the best. And this is the scene for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew finished up his dinner. <laughs> I'm a little bit slow here, but we're getting through it. We do love our cheesy breads. 
That's right. That's what today was cheesy bread day. Yep. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. We got the bread and the wine. The bread and the wine. That's on, right. On brand for Easter. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I would I will now make my closing statement. Well, no, you you'll make your closing statement. Right? I'll make my closing statement. Are you, are you uh, I don't know, are you prosecuting someone? I um, I can't say I am. Are you a defense attorney? Are you one of those crooked defense attorneys? I can't say I am. Trying to get some like murderer out of jail or something? I can't say I am. Good answers. <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. We're just trying to end the video. <laughs> and uh, it's getting a little crazy over here. Alright, what's happening? We're trying to see uh, what phase of Achilles pain you're in, you know? I'm, I'm doing. Self diagnosing right here. Yeah, I'm trying to do some WebMD stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, WebMD, I'm gonna, I'm, Google MD. I'm actually know? reading something from, uh, what is it? The NHS Oxford UK thing about Ach Achilles tendinopathy, advice and management info for patients. It's giving me all this stuff. I got like some rehab exercises to do. Look, I got like these little like I got these little stretch like little exercises to do here. Yeah. I'm reading this PDF, and uh, we're we're gonna get on it. We're gonna. We're I just. Gonna do some stuff. I just think about, like, that Wheel of Fortune. What? <laughs> the, the Wheel of Fortune when someone's like, I'd like to solve. And the thing was, like, um, Achilles tendon or, like, Achilles heel or something. Was it? Yeah, but then she said, Achilles tendon. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kat oh. was like, uh, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> and then someone rang the news like, Achilles tendon. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Pat, that right? Pat Sajak just face palming. <laughs> just... But like, politely. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I'm going to leave you with that to think about. <laughs> Look it up on YouTube or something. Sure, yeah. yeah. Look it up. It's out there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just look up a whole compilation of stuff like that. Um, yeah, just for funsies. Yeah, like Family Feud and like Wrong Jeopardy <laughs> answers. Like, mm -hmm. I love that stuff. Meanwhile, let me drink this. More co collagen. Collagen, watermelon, blueberry juice here. All we've been drinking <laughs> has been literally just that. Some five dollar Pinot Grigio and uh Gatorade. So basically everything cancels out and we're just like at the same hydration as we always are. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's a fun time. It's a fun time. Yeah. Anyways. This wraps up um zero day number one of the three part series. <laughs> <laughs> the trilogy. <laughs> the trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> the Zero Day Trilogy. Yeah. Tune in next time. Yep. To find out what happens. I feel like you just outdid yourself. I have to, I have to get this on. I have to get this on camera here. What did you say? I said. She goes, happy. <laughs> She goes, <laughs> uh, no, I can't say it. She goes, happy yeaster. He is risen. <laughs> yep. I've never, I feel like, why has I feel no like one that ever was, told me that joke? I feel like that was, like, that was just like a, oh my God. That was a real come to Jesus moment. Yeah. No, it was, it was a real, uh. I feel like that was supposed to be obvious, but... That, yeah, right? But we've never... I've never... I don't know. I've never heard that one. Yeah. Well...
Yeah, that's a Hallmark card for sure. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like I, I would pay seven forty nine for that <laughs> for sure from CVS. Yeah, I would pay seven forty nine for that. You know, write a really thoughtful note, uh, <coughs> in a, and then just have someone just throw it out three yeah. days later. Yeah. yeah, from and it's from like your uh, uncle. <laughs> <laughs> it's from your uncle that like you know you're just you just kind of only talk to it once a year on on Thanksgiving. That's it. And uh, <laughs> he gives you an <laughs> Easter card. <laughs> and he gives you an Easter card. Yeah. Nothing else. That's it. <laughs> Anyways. <sighs> okay, now. Bonus footage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peace. Uh,